I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and today I want to talk to you about the process overlap functions. So what are they? Well, they're tools inside of Scan and Cut Canvas that are really powerful and allow you to customize your files in a lot of different ways. So let me show you how they work. So I'm at the computer, and the first thing is I'm going to pull up the website of Scan and Cut Canvas. So here I am, and this is what it looks like once you've logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new project. And then once the canvas opens, I want to select just a couple basic shapes here to work with. So let's go for a triangle, and how about a square, and then maybe a heart. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull these apart. Now I am going to color each of these just so you can see them. There's no functional reason that I'm doing a fill on these. It's only so that they're really visible and you can see exactly what's going on. Um, and if you want to follow along in any way, then you too can go ahead and fill them in. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that last one and let's color it in too. Okay, so. Now you can see when they're colored in, it's really easy to see what's in front and what's behind. Okay, so now if I select all of these and I go to edit and here is my process overlap menu and I choose the first one, which is weld. If I go ahead and choose this, they're all going to become one color and one single piece. Okay, I can also hit undo to undo that welding. Now, even if this triangle were to be in the front and if I just go to edit and I move it up to the front, okay, and I hit weld, the same exact thing is going to happen. It's just going to be a different color. So the order of things doesn't matter at all with welds. Now, when I select this and I go ahead up to edit and I go to process overlap and I choose divide, what's actually going to happen is that it's going to divide but keep everything. So now I am going to have a million different separate parts, right? This is how it divided everything. So anything that was overlapping, it has divided it into two parts and anywhere there was basically a cross section, it has divided it out. So that's a really useful tool that you might want to use. And again, if I go backwards by hitting command Z or the undo button, okay, you'll see that with this function as well, if things are in a different order, let's send this to the back. It's also not going to matter at all. Divide it still divides it into the exact same set of pieces, okay? So let's go on to our next choice. So again, I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to go ahead to my third choice. So the third choice in the process overlap is remove the overlap. And you'll notice from the little circle and the triangle icon that what's being removed is actually what's behind. So now the order is really going to matter. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. I'm simply going to hit process overlap, and it looks the same, but if I move this square out of the way, everything that was behind has now disappeared. Okay, so let's go ahead and undo that. And now if I move this heart to the front, let's go ahead and move that up, and I do select them all, and I do process overlap, and we're going to again hit that third choice, remove the overlapped, and I move that. Again, everything that's behind has been removed. It's kind of a cool function to use. So let's go ahead and undo that and bring it back to the beginning, okay? Now, let's go ahead and select everything and let's look at that last choice. So the last choice here, okay, is gonna be subtract. And you can see that dotted line on the circle and the triangle. And again, the order here is gonna be important because now we're talking about what's in front. So watch this, it's a little bit easier to see when I click on that, okay, it subtracted everything that was in front of the back object. They're gone. It's not dividing it into pieces, they're gone. Of course, I can hit undo and I can bring them back. And if I bring this square to the front by reordering, I can go ahead now and I can, boom, remove, okay, absolutely everything except for that last little piece. So let's just go undo, undo. So when are you actually gonna use these functions? Well, the answer is all sorts of projects. If you check out my YouTube channel, you'll see I have a lot of videos that use the various process overlap functions, the skills that you've learned today to create unique and fun projects. So I hope that you will check that out. And of course, you can see lots of those projects also on my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com. And don't forget about the Scan and Cut website, a great resource for everything Scan and Cut, scanandcut.com.